everybody. Welcome back for another fun science lesson provided by the Naturalist Educators at Trekkie Meadows Parks Foundation. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to be talking about our Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Most people associate cockroaches with garbage and disease. But these aren't your average American cockroaches. In fact, there are over 4,500 species of cockroaches in the world. Only 30 species are considered pests. Of the 30 species of cockroaches that are considered pests, there are four in particular that are known to be a nuisance. The German cockroach is the most common type of cockroach found in the United States, and probably the one you're most familiar with. American cockroaches are the largest and most limber. The Australian cockroach resembles the American cockroach, but is a bit smaller. Australian cockroaches actually originated from Asia. The last of the four major pests is the oriental cockroach, aka water bug, which may seem less scary because of their smaller size. However, these tend to be the least sanitary because they like to live in sewers. Although they are often perceived as pests, cockroaches are one of the most extraordinary animals in the animal kingdom. In fact, they have been called one of the most successful species to inhabit our planet. Cockroaches are extremely hardy and adaptable. For example, the American cockroach is not actually from the Americas. It was first introduced to the Americas from Africa around 1625. These cockroaches adapted from living in warm, moist, tropical forests to living in a completely urbanized habitat ripe with basements, crawl spaces, and the cracks and crevices of buildings and walkways to call home. So you might be wondering, what exactly is a cockroach? Scientists like to classify animals into groups like the one shown on the colorful pyramid on your screen. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are in the domain Eukarya and kingdom Animalia, just like humans. However, cockroaches are in the phylum Arthropoda. That's why they're called an arthropod. Humans are in the phylum Chordata because we have backbones or spines. Arthropods make up approximately 80% of all known living animal species. That's a lot. So all the other animals you can think of, like tigers, elephants, turtles, and fish, these are all included in that small chunk of the pie chart labeled all other animals. There are many characteristics of arthropods that make them unique. For example, all arthropods have paired legs meaning for every leg they have on the right side of their body, they have the same number of opposing legs on the left side of their body. Arthropods are also invertebrates. Invertebrates means not having a backbone. Humans have backbones or spines, so we are vertebrates. Arthropods, including cockroaches, are invertebrates. They do not have a backbone. Being symmetrical is another characteristic of arthropods. Take a look at the butterfly on your screen. If we put a line down the middle and compare the left side to the right side, we can see that they are mirror images of each other. They look the same, just opposite. This means that this butterfly, just like all arthropods, is symmetrical. Arthropods are also ectothermic. Ecto refers to outside or external. Thermic refers to temperature. Think thermos, thermostat, or thermometer. So if we put it together, ectothermic means arthropods' body temperature is dependent on their environment. So if it's hot outside and they're in the sun, they're going to be hot. If it's cold and snowy outside, our arthropods are going to be cold too. They have to seek out somewhere hot or cold in order to change their body's temperature. Humans don't do this. We can shiver when we're cold to try and warm ourselves up. We also sweat when it's hot outside to try and cool ourselves down. Arthropods don't get to shiver or sweat. We keep a heat lamp over our roaches to provide them with a source of warmth. Another cool characteristic of arthropods is that they have segmented body parts. The number of body parts depends on the arthropod. For example, insects like this bee specifically have a head which is separate from the thorax which is separate from the abdomen. Having an exoskeleton is one of the coolest characteristics of arthropods, in my opinion. The exoskeleton is a hard outer shell that provides the arthropod with protection, kind of like Iron Man's suit. 
Arthropods also have jointed appendages, meaning they have joints on their legs similar to our knees and elbows. In addition to jointed appendages, arthropods also go through a process called molting. Molting occurs when an arthropod is growing and gets too big for its exoskeleton. Because exoskeletons are non-living, they cannot grow bigger by small increments like the human skeleton does as we grow. Instead, arthropods must shed their old exoskeleton and grow to a larger size before their new exoskeleton hardens. Nymphs, or young Madagascar hissing cockroaches, molt six times over the course of seven months. At the last molt, they become sexually mature adults and are ready to start having babies. Adult Madagascar hissing cockroaches never molt. Compound eyes are basically thousands of small eyes which work independently of one another to see and process as much information as possible. This is one of the reasons why flies are so hard to swat. There are four main arthropod groups. The insects, such as our ants, beetles, bees, and true bugs. The arachnids, like our spiders, mites, ticks, and scorpions. The crustaceans, such as a as crayfish, pill bugs, or roly polies, crabs, and lobsters, and the myriapods, which include centipedes and millipedes. We are going to be focusing on the insects today because that is the group that our Madagascar hissing cockroach falls in. All insects have three pairs of legs, or six legs total, three body parts, including the head, thorax, and abdomen, one pair of antennae, and most have wings. The Madagascar hissing cockroach is an example of an insect that does not have wings. However, they sure do love to climb. Now that you have some background information on arthropods and insects in general, let's dive into Madagascar hissing cockroaches. As you could probably guess, our Madagascar hissing cockroaches are from the country of Madagascar, which is an island off of the southeastern coast of Africa. Madagascar has a tropical climate. When our cockroaches live there, they would make their homes on the forest floor, in the soil, under leaves, or in logs. The cockroaches are nocturnal, meaning they are awake in the night and sleep during the day. They also love warm temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit and moist conditions because they come from the tropical rainforests of Madagascar, which are hot and humid. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are scavengers. This means that they search for their food, which primarily includes rotting leaves, fruit, and other plant materials. Our Madagascar hissing cockroaches are particularly fond of cabbage, pears, and bananas. These cockroaches do not hunt or attack living animals. In fact, Madagascar hissing cockroaches are also decomposers. This means they consume and break down plants and other materials into small pieces, which then become part of the soil and their habitat. Therefore, Madagascar hissing cockroaches help us recycle dead or rotting materials back into the earth, where it can be used again by future plants and animals. You will rarely find a Madagascar hissing cockroach living by itself. These insects like to live in large groups called colonies. We have well over 50 cockroaches in our colony at Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation. Madagascar hissing cockroaches go through a gradual metamorphosis, from an egg to a nymph and finally to an adult. Females appear to bear living young, but nymphs actually emerge from an egg case called an oetheca. In most cockroach species, the female drops the oetheca on the ground or deposits and glues it to something. In the Madagascar hissing cockroach, the oetheca is retained within the body of the female for about 60 days until eggs hatch. As many as 30 to 60 nymph roaches can be born during one pregnancy. On average, Madagascar hissing cockroaches will live anywhere between two and five years. They may get up to two to three and a half inches long and they weigh on average 0.8 ounces. You also may be wondering how we tell our male and female Madagascar hissing cockroaches apart. Well, males have prominent protrusions on their thorax called pronotal humps. They kind of look like little horns. Males also tend to have brushier antennae. Females may have very small bumps or, or none at all. 
The pronotal humps on male Madagascar hissing cockroaches are important because males tend to establish territories and will defend them from other adult males. Females, on the other hand, do not fight. So at this point, I bet you're wondering, but why are they called Madagascar hissing cockroaches? Well, just like cats and snakes, our Madagascar hissing cockroaches also hiss. The cockroaches hiss to scare off predators, to signal danger, and to find mates. However, our Madagascar hissing cockroaches don't hiss out of their mouths. They hiss by pushing air out of the little holes on their back called spiracles, which they use for breathing. Males tend to hiss more than females, and during territory battles, the winner tends to hiss more than the loser. The ability for Madagascar hissing cockroaches to hiss out of their spiracles is special and unique because most insects that make noise, such as our crickets, do so by rubbing body parts together or by vibrating membranes. Take a listen to some of our Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Thanks for tuning in to another TMPF science lesson. We hope you had fun learning about Madagascar hissing cockroaches. To keep up with the latest Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation news, follow us on Facebook at Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation or Instagram at TM Parks Foundation. And until next time, don't forget to be a steward.